Hello, my name is Nolan and in this video I'll be showing you how to set up your assignment and set up the autograder on Occupy.org. So first go ahead into Occupy.org and log in with your instructor account. And this will send you to the staff dashboard. Go ahead and click into your course. And on this course dashboard, you'll notice that you can create an assignment by clicking here. Go ahead and click Create Assignment. For the display name, go ahead and put the name of your homework. In this case, we'll be setting it as Homework Prep. And the endpoint that is auto-generated is completely fine to use. It's just um, the Cal, which is the school name, the course name, the semester it's offered, and then the name of your homework. And if you want to have a group size for this homework, um, you can go ahead and specify that here. Next, you want to set a due date for your um, assignment. Students can submit up until the due date and all the way up until the lock date. But after the lock date, the submission um, will be closed. So you can go ahead and set that here. And click Next. And now it's setting up the grading. So um, clicking on visible on student dashboard will allow the student to see this assignment. And for now, we can leave the auto grader key empty and we'll go ahead and fill that in in a little bit. Um, you can leave these as default and make sure you enable um, web uploads. And if you want to have special instructions for uploading, you can go ahead and put that here. Um, I'm just going to put upload your homework.prev. Our homework file and click finish. Then you'll be able to upload template files for your assignment. So here you want to upload um, the skeleton file that you gave your students to change in the beginning. And if your homework files had data sets that came with it at the beginning, you don't need to include those here. So just include the one that your student changes. So in this one, I will have just my homework, not prep. And I'll include that here and update the template. So by updating this template, um, I've assigned this file. And students will only be able to submit files of this name. All right. Then the assignment is now created. And we can go back into um, assignments and click on the assignment we just created. And now we'll configure our auto grader by clicking on configure auto grader. This will send us to the auto grader.cs61a.org and you can log in with your auto grader account here. And this is not the same thing as your OKPI account. So if you do not have an auto grader account yet, make sure to request one um, from the OKR GitHub. And once you've done that, go ahead and log in with your credentials and hit submit and go to admin. The first thing we want to do is upload our grading zip. So we want to go to Files, click Upload File, and you can drag in your grading zip. So as provided on the OKR GitHub, um, the grading zip will consist of autograde.sh, ok.r, parseoutput.py, and score export.ok.r. And if you have additional data sets that are loaded into the homework, um, you can include those in your zip as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and include this and upload this. And notice that I named it homework underscore prev dash grading dot zip. Now we're going to go ahead and go into assignment and create our actual assignment. So the assignments will show up starting on tab seven and go ahead and click create to create your assignment. Again, just put the name of your assignment. Here we'll put homework underscore prev. And we now need to specify the Docker image we'll use. Um, for purposes of using R, you can go ahead and use Kaggle slash R stats because this Docker image has all the R packages on CRAN already installed. So this will make auto grading a lot quicker for your students. For the grading script, use bash autograde.sh and then the name of the um, homework assignment that you gave your student. So uh, we used 
homework underscore prev dot r was the um, homework assignment we gave the students. So we'll go ahead and put that here and um, end it with a semicolon. Now for the zip file URL, you will go ahead and put the URL that goes to your grading zip file here. And to use the one that we just uploaded, you can go ahead and just change the tags that are here. So for your course, that's the name of your course that you were assigned when you got your auto grader count. So for this one is Cal Epidemiology Fall 18. And the file is just the file name that you uploaded the zip in. So for this one, it's homework prev dash grading. For email student, for the purposes of auto grading, leave this blank. And the submission wait time um, is only relevant if we're emailing the student, so you can go ahead and just ignore that. Now we can click save. And we'll see the um, assignment that we just made here. And go ahead and copy this auto grader key. And let's go back into our assignment on okpy.org. Now we're editing our assignment and go ahead and put in that auto grader key here and click update assignment. So now our assignment is all configured to use the auto grader. So let's test it. So I'm going to go into my fake student account. And as you notice, the homework assignment showed up here. I'm going to go ahead and click into it and submit a submission. Great, so now my student has um, submitted his submission. And now on the instructor side, I'm gonna go ahead and grade that. So first I can click into detailed stats to see how many students have submitted um, their homework. And I see that one student has submitted. So if I want to auto grade, I can go ahead and click Q on auto grader and hit yes, I'm sure. So this will send all these student submissions to the auto grader and it'll start this job. And it'll take a little bit, um, a little while to run. And once it's um, done, it'll go ahead and tell you. So we'll be back when the job is finished running. And sometimes the auto grader can take a, um, some time. So just for my single submission there, it took about a minute to show up. So um, just be patient with the auto grader and um, these tags here are just to show progress. So if you have about like 20 students um, and 20 submissions to grade, it'll go from like one out of 20, two out of 20, three out of 20. So you can see progress as it comes up. And now it says one graded and zero failed. And result, I can click into here to see the results. And I'll see that I have one submission that got a score of seven. And I can, if I want to view that, I can go ahead and click into backup. And I'll see the point breakdown and their total score. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, go ahead and contact us on the OKR GitHub. Thanks for watching.